Hello YouTubers, and now, the news. In an unfortunate series of events this morning, a man working at the San Diego airport reportedly got his hand stuck in the luggage conveyor belt. When asked for a comment, he said, <coughs> In other news, apparently there has been some confusion over the true identities of two celebrities both named Sam Harris. One a famous author, the other a famous singer. One confused fan, after reading noted atheist and author Sam Harris's best-selling book The End of Faith, thought it was the same Sam Harris who was nominated for a Tony Award for Broadway and who won an amazing 15 weeks in a row on Star Search back in 1984. She is quoted as saying, I thought that after he sang Somewhere Over the Rainbow on Star Search and sang notes three keys higher than the piano, he concluded that he must be God. Another noted high note belting YouTube singer, Vaughn Smith, went on record to deny the allegations about Sam Harris, saying, Sam Harris can't be God because I am. Oh. Rosie O'Donnell, former co-host of the morning talk show The View, corroborated Vaughn Smith's statements. Singer Sam Harris was not available for comment, but did mention if you will post a question on his YouTube account that he will answer it in one of his many vlogs. In breaking news, current residents of Paducah, Kentucky were up in arms this week when the state government denied their proposal to have William Sled's hair declared a statewide holiday. When two reporters approached the angry crowd to solicit comments, it was discovered that the two reporters were wearing Crocs and mom jeans and a riot broke out. In other news, apparently a rumor has broke out that Adnerb, Sorry Cray, and Lisa Nova are actually all the same person. Noted YouTube personality Bostarican was asked for his comments on this. But before he could be reached, he was accosted and assaulted by Don Wancho. Another YouTube noted personality, Zipst, called in to deny the allegation, saying that Lisa Nova was actually the evil twin sister of Loco Mama. When Loco Mama was asked for her comments, she said, Do you think you could spare five minutes out of your day to kiss my ass? <laughs> On a stranger note, apparently, a new YouTube user got confused when he accidentally subscribed to his own videos and then had to reboot himself. <laughs> In entertainment news, reports have come in that apparently Lola Nose and Paris Hilton have become close friends and have been seen shopping together and sipping lattes. When asked for comment, Lola Nose said, quote, I would rather gnaw off my own leg than be seen anywhere with Paris Hilton. All attempts to reach Paris Hilton for comment have failed. Apparently she is much too busy having the air in her head checked. In recent news, noted YouTube personality Para Quay, otherwise known as Mark, was involved in a minor traffic accident in his hometown today. Apparently, he was driving down the street when he turned to smile at another driver, blinding her temporarily with his pearly whites. The driver is okay, but Mark is currently in negotiations with the energy department to have his pearly whites used as an alternative power source. In medical news, apparently Twish 1999's videos have begun to display a diabetes warning. Apparently, hundreds of users have begun to develop high blood sugar content from viewing her videos, and children watching her videos have reported higher incidences of cavities. She's just so damn sweet, is how one devoted fan put it. And finally, Isabella Brave, noted YouTube celebrity and singer, recently signed to a recording contract, apparently pulled muscles in her throat when she attempted to cover the Bonnie Tyler hit, Total Eclipse of the Heart. In response to the frightening event, she has opted to change her name from Isabella Brave to Isabella Not That Brave. Thank you for joining me for News with Sign 543. Until next time, be good to one another. Bye-bye.